So welcome to Rasa Designs guys. In today's video, we're back on the E30. This barn find obviously has been stopped for quite a few years. And as you saw in the last video, I've done the service and some of the basic parts, the timing belt and all that kind of stuff. Today, we're gonna to be kind of pressing on with finishing up the intercooler. Uh, I've had a few ideas as well that I need to do with this intercooler because you've got too many joins here. So I think I'm probably gonna get rid of that and actually put um, a steel pipe a stainless steel pipe here so it's just less joins less jubilee clips less leaks it looks tidier as well i like to have if i can get away with the least amount of boost pipes as possible also i had a look at this also i looked into this uh, oil feed pipe because they were running really the bad really quite a bad way and to shorten them and the company pertec here in the uk that kind of made this originally say they don't use old pipes now they wanted over a hundred pounds just to make one new pipe uh, so and this one was a bit long anyway as well so i had a look into it and i'm actually going to use these um an-10 fittings and just make my own pipe it actually works out a lot better look a lot lot neater and black and i think just more in keeping with what i'm going to be doing with the engine base so those bits we're going to get on with that as well in today's video this is that oil breather i've also got a blanker for one of these so that we can actually mount this up as well and kind of hopefully get it running today and also but before we just get into this a big thank you to andrew he's a subscriber as well as a good friend i've sold him a few bits in the past also he heard me mentioning i wanted an alpine stereo donated an alpine stereo so thank you very much andrew okay let's crack on with this right so i've got the jet wash out i might as well give this front valance a bit of a wash as well as you can see i've just um, already meshed up where the fog light and the brake ducts would have gone and there's no way i can put this on as it is all dusty and dirty it looks a lot better i feel a little clean so now i'm just going to offer it up okay so i've mounted it on it looks pretty cool now i think before i actually put the mesh on I've also bought myself some ABS plastic, which I can heat up with and bend with a, a hot air gun. I'm actually going to make like a little deflector for the front of this here so that it actually pushes all the air up. So that's probably the first thing I'm going to do is make these little deflectors. Right, so what I've done is I've actually, instead of having so many connectors and joiners instead of having that kind of six clips here i've gone from six to four so it simplified it and also made it a bit thinner so it actually can fit nicely behind that front uh, panel there plastic that i bought two mil thick heated it up and bent it with a hot air gun and the reason why i've done that is to make an air duct as you guys saw when i when i test fitted the panel on it's kind of a big gap at the bottom and the air's just going to hit the radiator and actually go around instead of maybe through because obviously it's always going to take the path of least resistance so this way it rams at least the air has to go through the intercooler all right let's put this back on and measure up and see what else i need to do and bend to cut this up to put fit this on i mean i'm really quite happy with those with that air duct that i made because it's going to look a lot a lot better so i just need to pot river that on so now now that i know this all fits on here going to remove this again cut the pipes up for the right size for the all, all cooler pipes so after trying to sort these things out at pertec pertec actually didn't want to put an old fitting or a new fitting on an old pipe and they actually ended up wanting almost 100 pounds just to make one pipe so it would have been 200 pounds to shorten these two hoses and the fittings are quite big and bulky and quite in industrial looking but not really as smart as I wanted to. So I had a bit of a rethink, looked on eBay. I went to Torx UK, 
Luckily, I had some of these fittings again off my Mark IV Golf. So I had a 90 and a 45. So I just ordered then another 90, another 45, uh, two meters of this Dash 10 pipe. And it's just basically just screw it in. So it ended up costing me a lot, lot less and could look a lot, lot better. And it's more in keeping with the car, which is gonna be obviously black and gray in the engine bay. So I'm really happy with that. So that means then I can actually get the oil cooler done as well as then bolt on this front panel properly for the well bolt this panel on and put the bumper back on and get looking like a car also actually off the two meters i still got this little off cut bit which funny enough looks like it's going to be perfect for my oil breather which you can't see under there let me turn the light on for you guys you can just about see it maybe so there's the fitting for it there and it looks like it's actually going to be long enough to go from there from there to where the connector is just down there so that's a nice little touch as well so i'm really happy with that so you know, two meters has done me all so i've actually done the oil cooler as well as updated and made this uh, breather look a lot better so it definitely looks a lot smarter Hopefully you guys can see in there. The P clip them down as well. Just looks a hell of a lot neater coming around there. And then just feed into those with the 45s down on the old cooler themselves. So that's all done. There's something quite satisfying about actually putting these AFN fittings in. I always put like a little bit of grease as well. Makes the job a hell of a lot easier to actually get it in so you don't damage damage it and also what I do is I put some tape around here to protect so you don't scratch it with the spanners there you go all done unfortunately got a little bit scraped but it's not too bad plus it's just for the this was actually an old fitting so it was actually a bit damaged beforehand so that's it so I'm quite happy that this, this little off cut is actually going to do the oil breather I've just welded on the little bracket onto this oil breather, a custom made breather. Again, another thing that came actually off my, my track car. So I'm quite happy actually, I'm using so many bits of that. Then recycling them or upcycling them for this project. Okay, cool. That's done. So now the inlet is just So the inlet's there and it just has to work its way around to come around to the pipe, which is now sitting here. So the oil breather is all, I've got a cap for the top and it fitted the other one with the off cut actually fitted perfect. And also I've got some black oil breather hose to go around there. So that's the oil breather done. What I've done also is the radiator's in and the fan's in. So I just need to wire up the fan to the fan switch and obviously put 12 volts. Um, so that's all bolted in. And I'm gonna start actually putting this, there's a metal pipe that runs across here. Start putting on these coolant hoses. I've started to put all the coolant pipes on. What I left is one that kind of goes around there to there. The reason why I haven't done that to give me access to run the old cooler pipe. So I'll leave that till later. Needs also need to clean. Obviously this is not done to the high standard I would normally finish this. This is just obviously to kind of improve it to how, to what it was so that it actually can, it's reliable and can get me home to Portugal. Uh, also I need to get some vacuum pipe because obviously the dump valve is down there now. It's a bit further away. So I do need to get a new pipe as well. I need to put that on order. What's next? Okay, so this is the overflow pipe for the coolant. Not ideal, I'll probably run that underneath, actually look, look neater if I do it the other way around. So it really does look quite a lot different, this engine bay, really quite happy with it. You know, I've saw that a whole lot of issues that I came across with the boost pipes, you know, with no, uh, no swage lines on them, they would have burst off. 
also dump valve wasn't working and the old breather was in a bad place. So I've sorted out quite a few issues already. I'm quite happy also that I've been able to literally repurpose a whole load of uh, boost pipes off my track car. As well as I've bought a few bits and pieces. So, you know, this is kind of stage one for me, which is to kind of tidy, this, tidy the engine bay up and get it ready for its MOT. And then once the MOT is done, then comes kind of stage one and a half, if you want to call it that, which is fixing this downpipe situation with no flexi. Again, I'm going to try and utilize as much as I can off my um, track day car. It had a three inch um, downpipe with flexi. So I'm going to try to use that and maybe buy maybe one or two bends if I need to. Um, I'm also waiting on this plate to cover up the hole where the, where the dis distributor cap was. And even on this side of the engine bay, it looks quite cool with, you know, with that sorted out there. And this big, nice three inch catching loads of cold air. So I can't wait to really drive and see what this feels like. Uh, I've also noticed my dipstick's broken. So I need to try and source one of those. Also the air temp switch. Let me turn the light on for you guys. So we can all see what we're doing. I don't know what this is from. I'm just gonna use a VW one actually off the 20 valve again. It actually fits in there perfectly. And I think I can probably even get away with actually using this screw and put a longer one in, which will actually end up holding the sensor in. So that would be the air temp. So that will sit like, like so flush inside. I was thinking about actually putting uh, the air temp sensor in there. Then I realized it was actually before the throttle, not after. So what I've done is actually I've drilled and tapped this and you're wondering why have I done that? I've got water injection. I've got an old Aquamist kit that came off my Mark IV Golf as well. The track car with a tank and everything. So I'm actually gonna mount this in the boot and uh, plumb this in. So I'm also gonna have water injection in this. So that's really, really cool. So that's the, that's next on the list and get this done.